This is the first part of a two-part tutorial where I will go through Shvierk's different controls. Advanced users or experienced users might not get much use from this, but for beginners it might be quite helpful and a quick way into understanding how to create and shape your sounds. For this first tutorial we'll concentrate mainly on the oscillators, the mixer and the filter. Oscillators 1 and 2 are identical, so we'll concentrate on 1 for now. So the first thing we need to do is turn oscillator 1 on and turn it up in the mixer. Each oscillator has three waveforms, saw, triangle and square. You can alter the width of the square waveform using the width rotary. Next along we have the pitch section where we can change the octave range. Semitone which ranges from minus 12 to plus 12. And the fine tune rotary that detunes the oscillator. The switch above the fine tune rotary resets it to zero. The unison section can have up to eight voices and they can be detuned against each other using the detune rotary. The last thing to note about oscillator 1 and 2 is the sync button. This allows you to sync the waveform from oscillator 2 to the waveform from oscillator 1. So if you activate oscillator 2 and turn it up in the mixer, and then we activate the sync button and change the pitch of oscillator 2, and then with sync inactive, Shvierk also has two more sound generators. It has a sub oscillator that consists of a simple sine waveform and an octave range rotary. The last sound generator is a noise generator where you can mix the noise between pink and white. The next thing to look at is the mixer section, which we've looked at briefly, setting the levels for the oscillators. But for each sound generator, it also includes a pan rotary. You can then reset panning back to the center using the switch above the control. The last thing to look at is a low pass filter, which simply features a cutoff rotary and resonance control. Increasing the resonance creates a peak around the cutoff point. And that's it for the first part of this tutorial. In the next one, we'll have a look at the modulation matrix and the different modulation sources and destinations.